A Montgomery man shares disturbing video of a gunfight in his neighborhood demanding change. Good evening, I'm Mark Bullock. And I'm Valerie Lawson. The owner of that video and dozens of others showed up to express their frustrations at tonight's city council meeting. They say more has to be done to address gun violence. They point to a recent shooting that left a Montgomery woman paralyzed as another example of the negative effects of increased violence in the community. WSFA 12 News reporter Simon Schusler was at tonight's council meeting. He's joining us live with more on the complaints and possible solutions. Simon? Yeah, Mark, to put it simply, residents are fed up. Now, one action that seemed to please many, though, was the announcement that Mayor Stephen Reed had been in talks with the state law enforcement agency, ALEA, to help Montgomery police while they're dealing with this shortage in officers. And we also saw that shocking surveillance video, and I mean, it is just jaw-dropping, and it shows dozens of shots being fired off in a residential neighborhood. The video shows 50 rounds being fired in the Stony Brook subdivision. The man who captured the video, Bobby Bentz, speaking out at tonight's meeting, he blames short-term rental properties as being at the root of the problem. People who do not live in the area are acting felonious, which is enabled by allowing short-term rentals. Also recalling the moment he had to hit the floor and make sure his kids were okay. Uh, it caused me to just, of course, be terrified and run away into the living room, low crawling, hopefully not, no stray bullets and screaming to my kids and my wife, hey, get down. Um, and then, of course, waiting for the cops to show up. Bentz was one of a number of people at a stop the violence rally held before the council meeting where people gathered in prayer. One of the loudest voices at the meeting was pastor and nonprofit organizer Jamel Brown. Challenge our parents, invest in organizations and communities, and give our police raises. He's been in the community for decades and says he is tired with the violence. This is home. And when you're at home, you should feel safe. Uh, at 33 years old, I have been burying young folks and been at candlelight vigils, preaching uh, eulogies since I'd say about 15 or 16. Then the focus shifted to possible solutions. It was announced the mayor was in talks with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency for help. There was also a proposal to raise police officer pay, but some counselors were opposed to the idea since it would require increased garbage collection fees. We put it back in committee. Uh, we are looking at doing that 25% raise, um, but we are looking at other revenue streams. I, I know a lot of the constituents didn't want that, that raise and that, that sanitation. Councilman Glenn Pruitt responded to claims that the council isn't doing enough to address violence, reminding people he's a resident too. This is my home. I'm not going anywhere. And I want everybody to feel safe, no matter what side you're on, uh, of town you're on. Yeah, and about half the room holding up these signs saying this city belongs to the people. It comes after last month's city council meeting when officials challenged the community to not just get mad at one city council meeting and then forget about the problem, but to keep pushing for change. It seems like the community listened to that challenge. Mark. Simon Schusler live outside City Hall for us tonight. There was no official action taken this evening on any of those solutions discussed, but council members say the conversation continues and they appreciate the public's involvement.